Couldn't help myself. All right, the point, the thing I want to demonstrate right here is uh, why a GoPro is a good addition to your kit for these things, for blogging. All right, so what's great about GoPro cameras is that they're really tiny. I've got the this mounted here, um, and I'm talking into my, uh, my iPhone there. Oh, keep it down. The three things that are easy to cheat on and get really close to top-notch pro work is lighting, sound, and a second camera. All right? Having a second camera just opens up a world of possibilities for cutting that make your, uh, assuming you're not going to do your post yourself, um, just trust me on that. I'll try and demonstrate that in a subsequent video, but they're just so small and you just, you can just put it there. And this is in 4K mode. And I'm going to show why uh, you want to shoot on 4K, but deliver on something else, something lower like uh, 1080 or, or 720 and uh, why it's important and helpful to do that. Uh, I'm going to leave this here and finish. I'm going to leave this guy right here. Now for lighting, a lot of these cameras, including the GoPros, uh, your smartphones, etc., do a good job at auto exposure. Okay, so uh, they're going to uh, they're going to do just fine with available light, so long as available light you've given a little thought to where the light is. And I'm out in a very ideal place for this at a good hour uh, for a few minutes here. Anyway, uh, I am going to. Um, I'm going to head out here and show you basically the, the real technical terms are key light, fill light, and backlight. Now, as I come up with the sun over my shoulder, that's all backlight. And uh, that's generally a bad thing, but you know what? These cameras compensate for it so well, it's better than having flat light. In other words, I think the lighting here is better if I have it there. It's not ideal. It gets better as I cross, and you can see across my ugly mug here that it's... Uh, you know, um, that that's, that's called key light and this is fill. The fill is being filled by the available light here. If we had a crew, we'd have a bounce light or a lesser light here for fill. We don't. So we're going to try and do as best we can by just being mindful of where uh, the key light is. Now I'm going to show you how to do it poorly. The worst light you can have is like a flash on the camera that just leaves it really flat. Okay, because then there's no shadows and it's just really flat. And that's what you're going to get if I look straight into the sun here on that camera. I don't know about that camera. You'll see it hit that one as well. But again, if you have two cameras, you're going to have, that's like a plus it hurts, right? You got the sun right in your eyes. So, and by the way, you can see here, hopefully you can see that I've got a wide shot here. Now, the reason I like 4K is hopefully I'm going to demonstrate in my, when I'm editing this, how I can uh, uh, frame up two different shots and make it look like there's actually two cameras rolling over there. So that's an important thing. And the other thing for audio is this guy right here is... Uh, not that expensive or complicated. It sure looks it, doesn't it? But it's really not. And it just rolls very cheaply. In other words, uh, one little memory card will last forever. I mean, it, you just it's hard to fill up, okay? So for the whole shoot, this thing just runs, and it makes it really easy to sync up the other cameras, okay? So hopefully my lips are moving according to my words here. And uh, the best, the hardest thing, I'm actually doing this for a friend of mine that I owe a phone call to, and I'm going to see if I can't edit this together in time to give it to him and explain. Um, the biggest problem, when I try to help somebody in a video project, the hardest part is usually how I, um, just wrangling the footage. If you have a workflow though, like these GoPro cameras, I gotta say, usually I'm very critical of prosumer equipment and their suggested workflow, but when I plug each of these cameras into uh, the USC cable attached to my Macintosh at home, uh, their app, their uh, uh, program loads up and puts the files all in the same place every time. And hopefully I don't start to see a bird I wanna photograph in the middle of blogging here. I do think I see a great blue heron over there that I kinda of like to catch flight shots for. And it looks a little busy, so I might check on it over there real quick. And I'm editing this, so you guys don't mind. I gotta give a name to this guy. Stirring the wings a bit. They're funny looking guys. What I wanted to say is that when I plug that camera into the um, when I plug that into the uh, to my computer, the battery charges, the camera memory empties into the same folder every time. So if I were helping this friend out, 
Uh, this person could keep this, this person could on, if you're stuck in traffic, pull out the GoPro camera and your iPhone, put them where they, you know, be safe about it, but roll it, you know, roll both cameras. If you can remember to do it, clap your hands once so you, I know how to sync them back up, but I can do that automatically anyway, and just talk. Get to the office, plug them both in, and we can t t set up a workflow. So that stuff just shows up in a folder, and any instructions that need to go on it can just go in there about, hey, we'll do this, you know. And the trick is to just keep doing that because this fellow I'm trying to help is just brilliant and he's really well connected in uh, the top of his game in a very uh, competitive uh, profession. And he's filled with knowledge, but his time is so damned expensive. It's tough to, he's a good friend. It's tough to even get him on the phone. He's between being a dad and being, you know, running a business and all this. So, you know, he could just be stuck in traffic and he could just pick this thing up, record two cameras, check the light, especially, especially if it occurs to you that, hey, this light is cool. I'm walking, I'm in traffic, but the sun is coming around. You know what? I'm going to do this. And chances are, and if you have a Bluetooth thing that's going right into the iPhone, you know what? That's probably good audio too. Just pay a little attention to it, or at least pay attention to say where the, uh, the input, the microphones are on the phone you're using on the iPhone XR, sorry, 10R. They're on the bottom. Uh, if you're holding the phone vertically. So don't rub up against them, that'll help, right? Like I say, the 4K thing on the GoPro is just huge because of the way it almost allows you to cut like it's two cameras. And uh, this friend was interviewing uh, another friend in a, uh, another business that he works with. Um, uh, yeah, they're both business owners and they, they, they cooperate together and they're interviewing, kind of interviewing each other really. And it's very, it's great actually, but they're, they're uh, doing it off of one camera and it's really hard to cheat it to look like it's you know anything but what it is and it's fine if it is what it is it's just that you can cut I mean this whole thing right now is like it all my cameras now are at about 20 minutes 25 minutes this video hopefully is not going to be to this point anywhere anywhere close to that right that's because I can edit you can avoid jump cuts in editing if you've got something to cut to. And it's a, it's, you don't need to know all the details of that. It just makes it so much easier to make it look more like a professional crew did it than um, just doing it selfie and disregarding lighting and audio. That's all. Um, with that, I think I'm going to sign off. Maybe keep these running in case I capture a great shot that I want to be blogging about. But that's all I really wanted to say. Um, oh, and one other thing, though, is that when you're going to do like a, like a YouTube channel or something like that, there's a package of graphics you can get for, I say you can get, I mean, I can make them for you. You can commission them very easily uh, just for an intro, uh, graphics that fly in. Uh, PowerPoint type bullets, things that can fly in and keep a consistent style with it. And if you have a project file on something like Adobe Premiere Pro where those things are all preloaded, you can uh, have those things set and ready to go so that, I mean, I don't want to make any promises, but I feel like this fellow who's out in California could just be blogging and I could turn something out, you know, within maybe even the same day. I mean, the hard parts are getting his time, uh, recording it, and getting it up to the cloud where I can grab it because my server will grab it off of, uh, he, this fellow likes to use Dropbox, I'll use any cloud service you can and I can even work around certain, uh, any requirements for encryption or any, any, uh, any needs you have like that. But once you have that workflow established, you, you plug the thing in and forget about it. And the next thing you know, you know, I've, I've sent you uh, an episode for your approval and you can set up a workflow that when it's approved, you press a button and it goes to a podcast on audio. It goes to Instagram. Uh, you can have these things set up. So, you know, the first one you do might be might not, not be that easy, but once you've got that established, you've got that workflow established, and you have a place for your camera where it charges and takes all this. The other thing it does, by the way, that GoPro uh, app, it, it clears the memory off it. So, but it, when you pick it back up after it's done uploading, um, it's recharged and the memory card is clear. So you just keep using it. And the uh, smartphones, it's a little different, which is why I really like these GoPros. I mean, they're, I mean, this looks more like a good GoPro application because I'm out here, um, but, they're good cameras. I mean, I've been doing this a while. The idea that you've got a 4K camera or even 1080p that fits like this big, 
uh, is um, is pretty incredible. Um, and uh, they're not that expensive. And you can get a couple of them and have them ready, have one in the car. There you go. Those are my tips for blogging for today. Uh, I might try to cover the GoPro Fusion at some point. That thing is incredible because it does a 360 degree uh, spherical image actually so you I could have put that in one camera here and been able to you don't have to use it like that but you can use it like it were three or four or five or six cameras pointed in different directions you can even put it in the middle of the table and interview people and cut to them as you record audio and it's got a microphone on it these cameras all have microphones if something goes wrong with this one I've got the you know I've got I've got backups including the one over there that some geese are looking at over there. I better go check on this camera over here. And uh, so I'll sign off. This is Michael with uh, Just Look Productions, and uh, happy blogging.